Well, thank God we built you. What a blessing for the community. You are a factory of sadness. So, Unity's gone, huh? And I suppose you're looking for new ways to make games. Well, you have come to the right place, because in this tutorial I will show you how you can make your own 2D platformer in C++ without using any libraries or any prior knowledge. I will explain everything that you need to know in order to make games in C++ and to make your own engine. This one right here is a 2D Celeste clone that has UI, for example this button right here. You can move around with your character, aka jump. There is pixel perfect collision detection. It is also possible for you to die and then respawn. We will have wall jumping. You can jump and move on to platforms and then you can use the momentum from the platform if you time it right to jump further. I will show you how we can make an orthographic camera to scale and display our pixel art on the screen and then we will use that camera to make these awesome transitions that pause the game while the character transitions between rooms. Additionally, I will also show you how you can paste tiles using your left mouse button. Notice how these tiles change whatever tile they are displaying based on how many neighbors they have. <laughs> and then if we use the right mouse button we can delete them all. Additionally we can also spawn spikes using the left mouse button when holding shift. I will also show you how you can load and make a texture atlas like this and then make it so that it updates while you make changes to the game. So for example if we draw something on top of this button then save and export the sprite. If we switch back to the game you can see the updated version of the button in game. Additionally if we move the game to the left and then put the code on the right we can see the play button is right here and let me undo the change like this we export. Now obviously the button shows up properly. You see we have the save button right here and I would like it to be the save button. I can go into the code instead of using the play button as a sprite we can use the save button. Now you might know that in C++ you can't actually do code changes and you always have to restart your program. But that's not entirely true. If you structure your code correctly, you can actually do something like this. We change it to the save button. Now we build the program again and it updates the button. In C++ we call this hot code reloading, which requires some additional structure, but I will show you how you can do that. So yeah, if you've gotten tired of Unity and want to look for something else and you've always toyed with the idea of actually making a game in C++, I'm making this tutorial to show you the entire progress from nothing to an actual game that you could potentially sell. Obviously, there's much more stuff that I haven't shown you like rebindable keys and the actual renderer that we have to implement. We will be using OpenGL if you're wondering. But yeah, I will try to post at least one tutorial a day. Since the game is done, it won't be that difficult for me to create the tutorials, but there will be days when I might have to take one break and then every other day. By the way, the first tutorial in which we set up the build system for C++ is already out. You will find it right here. Until then, I hope you enjoy the series and if you do, please consider subscribing and liking the video. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good one. Peace.